Hey everyone and welcome back. This is the second half of a recent trip I took to the Indianapolis area. I was hoping to chase something back to Cincinnati. I started my day at the Amtrak Beach Grove shops and then headed west to Avon to check out the CSX yard there. Click up here if you want to see that Amtrak video. This is the second time I've been to this spot and once again it's busy. This will be more of an exploring video than my usual stuff though. I ended up missing my chance to chase something to Cincinnati, but I did catch two trains. We'll check those out now. We're on top of the Union Station parking garage in downtown. Up first is this westbound EMD power move. I'll put the engine numbers and models on the side of the screen. This is a pretty good spot if you ask me. The only problem though, you can probably already tell, it can be quite windy. Looking east, these tracks continue on to the Indianapolis Line subdivision, also known as the B Line, that goes to Sydney, Ohio and beyond to Cleveland. Eastbound traffic to Cincinnati along the Indianapolis subdivision will also come through here. And anything coming or going from the Beach Grove shops will also pass this spot too. And there's also a line that heads south to Louisville that creates the third leg of a Y at the spot. Alright, one, three, four, five, I guess just need the build in the Sevenville, right? That is correct. Uh, pretty much the same thing you just gave us to get the designs, Will, but yeah, belt and Shelbyville. Alright. You guys got your PCC fired up there? I didn't think we were going to need it. I mean, we're just going to be at restricted speed the entire way. Uh, AC1 number 81034. 81034. Uh, we have today's date 0305.23. Location That's the Union Station passenger platform they're heading under. You can see Lucas Oil Stadium in the background. As the last engine comes into view, take a look at the paint job on its nose. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. It reminds me of the custom flames you'd see on a classic car. I checked and it's an SD40-3. Railroad Pictures Archive says it's a former Clinchfield sticker unit and has a yellow nose 3B paint scheme with a streamlined yellow nose. Pretty cool if you ask me. Not too long after, we have another westbound making its way toward us. WC1 81034, date 3523, location QIV 8.5 for the Y13405 with the 6410 ASL. Line 1A operates main track, both direction between QIV 10.0 main track and QIV 8.0 main track. Line 1Bs operate main track, both direction between the milepost QSS 102.0 main track and the WASCPIU Shelbyville main track. Over. RP81034, uh, showing effect to 1406-1406-JTL. You see one 81034 okay, an effect of 1406-JTL, uh, we thank you, sir. Right. M684055248, thank you, inbound, talk to the hub over. IBM31305, 5216, over. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how about South Runner and Talk? How about thank you? You ain't going home yet? I just got here. Oh, that's it. Uh, I appreciate it. This is Andrea. I'm going to take a sound. Hey, Andrea. I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, well, you too. Thank you. South Polar. Going north. This time I was able to get my drone up. We'll catch the train as it comes out the other side of the passenger platform before meeting it once more at White River, just west of downtown. STL 
This train will continue on westward to Avon Yard. Let's head there and take a look around. I'll put some shots of the engines and unique cars I was able to spot at the end of the video. Like I mentioned, I've already done a video talking about the yard and some of the history here, so I'll spare you that right now. But click here if you want to see that first trip. This time, we're just going to focus on some actual yard activities like sorting cars over the hump. We'll follow along as it happens. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I have a couple more in the works, so please do subscribe if you like them. And let me know where you like to rail fan or where you'd like to see me go. I can't guarantee anything, but I'm always looking for new spots. Until our next rail fan trip, I hope you have a great day. Flying back for nine there. Eight, four, three, one. Flying out of 52, Flying out of one, we're going to knock uh, four down. Real quick, about 800 feet left in there. Four drills up. There's 84 reading. Yeah. Alright, it's just 61396, I believe, is what I've seen on the scanner. Alright, I can pray for it. I got it, sir. We'll get over to uh, 23. 23 couple, let's take a couple on there. Holler at me when you're done. Your, your breath is fresh air today, pal.
Canada. All right, let's go with these. Oh, God, hold on. All right, let's go with easy one number. 81208. 81208803052323. Locations QSL 4.0. Train advance 68805 with CSXT 3449. CJ Hallett copying. Throw on 1A, upper down main track, north direction. From the QSL 4.0 main track to NASCP Dale main track. Over. All right, got EC1 number 81208, date 0305.23, location QSL 4.0, train ID M68805, engine CSXT 3449, employee CJ Halleck on the copy, circle line 1A, operate on main track north direction from QSL 4, main track 2, NASCP Dale main track, over. Turner 81208, okay, in effect of 1637, 1637, dispatcher AB, over. Effective 1637, AB on the 81208. That is awesome, thank you. Thank you, pal. Hello, RC dispatcher, over. Dispatch, this is at uh, M68805, ready to release EC18078. Alright, I'm ready for it, over. Alright, Dispatch, this is at uh, 68708 train ID M68805, engine CSXT3449, employee CJ Hallett, release my authority on all tracks from SAS JO Tower to QSL 4.0, over.